Well, um, this is a tough pill to swallow for all of us right now. Um, as a really disappointed locker room, um, I hurt for them. You know, this is three years in a row where we've had a situation where um, two years in a row where you're the number one seed and you lose home playoff games. And um, obviously I didn't do enough to get our team prepared to win a football game. And certainly when we only scored 10 points offensively, I, I, I put that all on myself. I got to be better than that. Um, you know, we had plenty of opportunities to kind of put that game away. I thought our defense battled their ass off. I thought they competed at the highest level. Um, you know, uh, you know, we had a ton of special teams miscues. But ultimately, you know, give San Francisco a ton of credit. They came ready to play. They came ready to battle. Um, we knew it would be four quarters, and it went right down to the wire there. So, uh, like I said, I just I hurt for these guys more so than anybody because they put their bodies on the line. They come to work each and every day with a positive attitude, um, do, do everything in the best interest of the football team. And when you come up short, it's extremely disappointing. Uh, so I just, I don't know. I don't have a lot more than that to say. Question will come from Brian Wood. Go ahead, Ryan. What was, what was your vantage point of the block punt and um, just obviously the significance of, that it had in this game? Yeah, I mean, you could argue that was the difference in the game. Um, but I think there was more than just that play. I don't know exactly what happened. I'll have to go back and take a look at the tape. But, you know, we've had we had two blocks in this game. And that obviously it was um, played a big part in us coming up short. Mark Daniels. Matt, you know, the first series looked crisp and clean. You know, just what – Locked down with the offense from there on? Uh, obviously, I didn't do a good enough job putting our guys in position to make plays, and um, that's that's about it. Matt Schneidman? Matt, it looked like you guys had 10 guys on the field for that final field goal attempt. How does that happen in that moment? <laughs> yeah, um, that can't happen. It's unacceptable. With, uh, uh, again, that's on me. MK Burgess. Matt, what did the team talk about at, at the end of this game? Uh, they didn't really say much. I, I kind of addressed the team similar to how I, I talked to you guys and just told them that I appreciate and love everybody in that locker room. Just not only as football players, but as men, um, what they represent, how they embody the team first mentality, uh, how they come to work each and every day and, and put everything they got into this thing. And that's why it hurts so bad because, you know, there's, there's a finality to this thing and, and I don't think anybody envisioned it going the way it, it finished for us. Rob Domofsky. Rob Domofsky. You got me? I got you, Rob. Sorry about that. Um, did Aaron play well enough for you guys to win today? Yeah, I think Aaron did, uh, you know, everything he could. He was under a lot of duress. Um, I, I think it's, it's more to do with uh, I didn't put our guys in position to to make enough plays. And I take that very personally. Um, I'm going to do everything in my power to improve upon that because scoring 10 points is is, is not going to get it done. Tom Silverstein. Hey, Matt. <clears throat> how, does, how did you get through with Lazard getting one target? Um, Aguirre getting one target, Cobb getting one target. It was 21 between Aaron Jones and Devontae Adams. I'm sure you wanted it to be more diverse than that. How do you think it wound up being like that? 
I got to go back and, and look at the tape and I'll, I'll be able to answer that question for you better, Tom. Uh, certainly, I think the majority of our past concepts do run through Devontae, and that's been the case all season long. And, um, you know, we, we obviously didn't do a good enough job of um, having either the right concepts called or, or whatever it is. But, um, you know, I got to go back and look at the tape. Jason Wilby. Hey, Matt, what was your thought process going the direction you did on the offensive line? And did you have a pretty good idea throughout the week that David wasn't going to be able to go? Well, uh, um, David practiced on Thursday uh, or our Thursday practice, which was, I guess, Wednesday. Um, so we were going to try to allow him to have the entire time to prove whether or not he could go and it just it came to a, a head this morning and um you know decided it was probably best if he didn't play and you know we're always trying to uh, put the best five out there that we think can get the job done to win a football game and you know i i understand that it's just part of it when you don't get the results that you want that everything's going to be second guessed and should we have played other guys? Maybe. I don't know. Obviously, uh, like I said, when the results don't go the way you want them to go, then you're subject to criticism, and that's just the way life is. Do you, do you second-guess that yourself or no? No, I think I think our coaches do a great job of, of and having a pretty good handle on what we want to get done um, and who gives us the best opportunity. I think – when you look at the way Dennis has played this season, he's he did a damn good job each and every week. I know Aaron felt really comfortable with him. Um, and I think Billy, just what he brings to our team, is a guy that we definitely wanted out there. And I think Yash, and I know he didn't play or whatever, um, had has done an outstanding job when given the opportunity to play this year. And, these are tough decisions that you have to make. You know, luckily we had, we we fought through a lot of diversity up front and lost some some obviously some very key players. When you're talking about lo losing Elton Jenkins and then Bill, uh, David's out the majority of the season, um, but it it speaks to the job that Goody's done and, and his staff and of bringing in a lot of great players here um, to allow us to still function at a pretty high level, even though we didn't get it done tonight. Ryan Wood. As a whole on the special teams, it seemed like it obviously had a, a big impact tonight. And it seemed like so long as it wasn't righted this season, that was always a possibility. Why could you never get the special teams right? And, and how disappointing is it that given that it's been a season long problem, it, it never did correct itself? Yeah, it's extremely disappointing, um, and especially when you look at the, what happened tonight, um, again, these are things I, I, I got to do a better job, obviously, and, and be more involved um, to make sure that those types of things don't happen, that we're putting these guys in the right position, that we're coaching them the right way. Um, and, I mean, ultimately, it all falls on me. Dan Graziano. I'm wondering what, if any, effect you think the ending of this season has on uh, your chances of having Aaron Rodgers back next year. Uh, you know, I don't know, Dan. Um, certainly, we want him back here. Um, I think we'd be crazy not to want him back here. He's he's going to be the two-time MVP. I mean, this guy is does so much for a football team. Not only what you guys see on, on Sundays or or every game day, but what he does in that locker room, how he leads, um, you know, I just, I know what he puts into this thing. And certainly I'm extremely disappointed in that we, we, we couldn't get over the hump for not only him, but for everybody in that locker room. We're going to do a couple more, Sam Fortier. Uh, earlier you said there was a sense of finality to this. I wonder if you meant specifically this season or, or something bigger picture. 
Well, I mean, certainly the season. Um, but just like every year in the National Football League, there's going to be guys that, for whatever reason, um, there's always an uh, influx of of guys, of new guys coming in and out. And, you know, uh, yeah, that, that's what hurts the most is you develop relationships with these guys and you have a huge care for them, not only as football players, but as people. And um, just, I can't tell you how much these guys do for for each other, for the coaches, for everybody involved in this thing. Just the way they come to work each and every day and compete to the best of their ability. And it's just, it's just really tough right now to even kind of come up with the words that, uh, you know, do justice to the situation. Tom, you got one? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Matt, can you kind of summarize what San Francisco did so well in, in shutting you guys down offensively? Well, certainly the, well, we probably were a little too pass heavy and um, they took advantage of that. They, they got a great pass rush, obviously, and they were able to to hit home too many times. Um, I think at the end of the game, we might have pressed a little bit too much and that's that's my fault. Um, you know, certainly getting behind the sticks and having a first and 15 and a second and long, you just, you feel like you want to give your best player the opportunity to go potentially win the game. and. Um, you know, it just didn't work out.